Whether you're diving into the Bible for the first time, or you're already familiar with it, exploring its teachings can be quite an adventure. I've personally been on this journey with this remarkable book for over 45 years, and still today, I'm constantly amazed by the wisdom that fills its pages. My own exploration into the Bible began at the age of 19, but let me tell you, it wasn't an instant connection. It took me a while to figure out a study approach that truly worked well for me. So let's embark on this journey together, and I'll share with you 10 practical tips that I always keep in mind whenever I'm digging into Scripture. The first thing on my list is keeping an open mind. What does that mean? Well, it's all about approaching each topic without fixed beliefs that can't be changed. In other words, be open to new perspectives. Don't be afraid to question any teaching and to even challenge your own beliefs at times. After all, nothing stymies learning as much as thinking you have nothing to learn, especially when dealing with the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Remember, there is usually more beneath the surface than what first meets the eye. Moving on to tip number two, I find it incredibly helpful to use various translations of the Bible because each one brings out different nuances and insights, making the text richer and more meaningful. If you have a computer, I highly recommend using Bible software for your study. There's free and paid versions available online, and most offer several translations of the Bible, as well as other study tools, which are very helpful. Next, tip number three. It's always to our advantage to delve into the meanings behind the original Hebrew and Greek words used in the Bible. These definitions always add depth to understanding and often uncover hidden wisdom we might otherwise miss. There are a number of good concordances available which will help in this area. More often than not, you'll find at least one or more concordances included in the various Bible software programs that I mentioned in the previous tip. Just keep in mind that what you use is not nearly as important as using one. Tip number four is keywords and phrases. Keywords and phrases act like signposts, guiding us to the heart of a topic. So keep an eye out for these important markers, even those which might seem insignificant. One word or phrase often leads to a much better understanding of the topic at hand. Moving to tip number five, be aware that context is often crucial. Taking verses in isolation can work, but it can often lead to misunderstandings. If needed, consider the broader context of the passage to grasp its true meaning. Tip number six, consider creation, which I believe is one of the best things we can do when studying. Romans 1 verse 20 tells us that his eternal power and divine nature are clearly perceived in the things that have been made. Studying the created things is great for shedding light on spiritual concepts. Nature does indeed mirror the Word of God. Number seven is all about symbols, which go hand in hand with our previous tip. The Bible is filled with symbols that carry specific meanings. Exploring the symbols unlocks hidden insights. Keep in mind that it is not at all unusual for different symbols to point to the same concept or understanding. This seems to be especially true in the book of Revelation. Tip number eight is let scripture interpret scripture. Cross-referencing different parts of the Bible helps paint a complete picture and prevents taking verses out of context. Tip number nine is one of my favorites, the spiritual meaning of numbers. When we take time to uncover these meanings, we gain a deeper understanding of the messages conveyed. Several good books are available by different authors. Two, I highly recommend our number in scripture, its supernatural design and spiritual significance by E.W. Bullinger 
and the Biblical Meaning of Numbers from 1 to 40 by Dr. Stephen Jones. Both can be found on the internet. Last but not least is recognizing that God is logical. This may not seem important, but it really is, for much truth can be gleaned by connecting the dots. When we bring some or all of the other tips to bear, logical patterns often arise, which are astounding in their own right. This is why the spiritual meaning of numbers plays a very important part, for numbers are a language and logic all their own. So, there you have it, a friendly guide to enhancing your Bible study journey. Remember, whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned explorer, every study session is a chance to uncover new treasures of wisdom and understanding.